Hello YouTube, this is Sai, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little video on Karnow maps. They're a very nice way to simplify a lot of your logic when you're doing large, complex redstone designs. Um, I'm going to try and show it entirely in Minecraft, so I'm going to show you my notation first and then the rest of it. Here in both of these truth tables we've got white is false, black is true, or white is zero, black is one. And our inputs are surrounded in green, outputs in red, blue's just a separator. So here we've got A, B, C, D, and E. That's five inputs for a total of 32 different possible values on the output line. And if you were normally making something and you needed, say, this particular set of outputs, you'd start out, you'd look at your outputs that are black, and that is that they're on, and you'd say, not A, and not B, and not C, and not D, and not E, or, the second output, not A, and not B, and not C, and D, and not E, or, and you'd continue this all the way along your outputs for every output that's black, so for this circuit you would end up with a very long chain of multiple input AND gates all ORed together at the end, and you'd have a huge circuit, which would take you a very long time to build and be very, very difficult. So you want to simplify that. And this can be done. You could take very simple method and use Boolean algebra rules to simplify it down, but the easier way to do it is to place it into a Carnot map, which is something like this. And the way you generate this, you have to have a special order for your inputs and outputs. This is called a gray code, where from any one cell to the next cell, only one bit changes.